up. Spice up your life. Every day is a new experience here. I'm the lowest of low. I'm just a probie. I'm a probie, I can't say much. <laughs> can't do much. Can't say much. It's the brotherhood. That's what it's about. Hey, you guys are probies. Anybody say you can talk? Huh? <laughs> Cornflakes, catfish. It's Bronco's specialty. He was a part of the crew that was working September 11th. And uh, he didn't know how to cook because he was a single guy <laughs> that uh, lived by himself for a long time. So, cooking meals that you know were favorites of some of the guys that were here that passed away is, uh, makes you feel good, makes you remember them, brings back uh, good memories. Was that too hot for you, man? Yeah, something about uh, hot metal. You should have been a cop. <laughs> Traditionally, you start out in an engine. You know, you get your uh, sea legs, and uh, you graduate usually to the truck. You start doing truck work, whereas it's more individualized, more specialized. You have more responsibilities in the truck, and then you know, then you go to the rescue, where uh, you know you uh, have a ton more responsibilities. You go to all sorts of extra training. Uh, pretty much. Uh, if somebody gets stuck somewhere, you have to go get them, you know, no matter where it is. Who's down the hall? Anybody down the hall? Yeah, we're just uh, recreating real training conditions here, that's all. Got to make it as real as possible. You set a fire down there. Straddle your hole in the... Ah! You gotta, you know, there's no turning around the hole either, it's a bit tight, so... Which side? Okay, I see the ladder. See, yeah, watch the ladder as you go down. Yeah, I mean, but if you wanted to do a nice, quick rappel, really can't do it, you know? Yeah, right, right. You missed! Ah, <laughs> uh, back to work, guys. All right, you guys just stay there and talk. I'll be okay. You guys are funny, huh? Not too bad, though. They missed. Kind of. Can you wash your shoes there, man. Get them all dirty, yeah. That's how we uh, clean the shoes here. It's okay, guys. I got it. I'm done. All right, fellas. That is. They were actually pretty fortunate, the engine. Because the rescue company, we have a lot of experienced guys, and uh, they have a wealth of knowledge across the floor that they can pick from. Every guy's duty as a fireman is to pass on experience to the new guys. You, you, you're, if you're not doing that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're not doing your job. You know, if anybody hasn't told you, these only get used as a last resort as a backup. Yeah, that's what I was told. With the big fails. You do bring guys in there. You go to fires with them, or you tell them about special things to watch out for, things that are going to save their lives, things that senior guys told me when I got on a job, Richie, when we got on, there was guys like that that told us, hey, listen, kid, you know, uh, when you get up on a smoky roof, get down on your knees and crawl around, you know, you don't want to walk off the edge of the building, you know, or, uh, you know, just little tips and hints, uh, how to force doors, you know, little things that maybe they didn't show them in probie school. A lot of this job is experience that's passed down from the senior guys, and there's a big change with the promotions, guys retiring, and that's, that's not just in this house. That's, that's the entire job, and uh, it's such a big transition through this job right now that uh, you're nervous for you know, anybody who's operating at the scene because you know that that experience level has dropped, and only time is going to make that stronger.
there's not really much for us to do. It's just a just a clump. It's like I don't know, maybe torture, maybe can't even tell. Fifteen to roof, OV and can. We're up. Said it was a transit worker. Can? That's what you said. One out for one. That's the northbound T train. Go to work. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Go for the rescue. Anything else? Why don't you just go up here and I'll come out at Walker and I'll come down? Basically, it was a transit worker that was hit uh, when he's putting up the signals for safety signals. Now it's a crime scene and the PD will take over and take photographs and uh, they'll have to remove the body and stuff. You'd be surprised how many people do it in this city. Right, Joel? It's unbelievable. Yeah, three to, three to five a month on average doing this stuff for 14 years, you know right away whether you got out for it. First time you go to something like that, you know, dismemberment or whatever it happens to be. You, you know whether or not you cut out for it, you know. I had a couple of them tell me, they say to me, tell my wife I love them. You know, that kind of stuff, you know. That's hard, kind of hard, you know. Well, you know this guy's last words. You know, and he, own, he knows it too. All right, let's go, we're out of here. Friday night in the beer. City. Seems pretty quiet though, right? Late back for Friday night. Yeah, there he goes. He just put the <laughs> mic on that. Dead. This is the night shift. This is the uh, 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning night tour. Normally, the uh, engine companies and the truck companies, they take care of what needs to be done. Uh, we're there in case. Uh, but a lot of times we get used because of things being a, quite a bit different, more complicated, uh, more intense, more involved, uh, and uh, they, we get used for those situations. Well, I like to kid all my friends that, uh, that work in other boroughs, that I work in the city and they work in the suburbs, even though Brooklyn used to be its own city and is a, a rather large and unique place on its own, but for my way of thinking, Manhattan is where it's at. We don't have the frequency of fires, but we have more emergencies than the other places just because there's so many people here. Now with terrorism and radiation and biohazards and weapons of mass destruction, we're the ones that are gonna fight the battle in the streets. The September 11th, the captain who was assigned here was killed and they uh, asked me if I'd like to come down here and I accepted and uh, I consider it a great honor to be here. Uh, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenging place to work. I've been underneath the top parts of bridges. I've been in tunnels. I've been in collapsed buildings. I've been in submerged vehicles, on top of skyscrapers, in tenements, inside of tanks. Whatever could happen eventually happens around here. 